So this is the Mercury 120. It's an all-in-one cooler from Antec. The Mercury has a round pump and block with a copper base plate. The outer shell is made of black plastic and has a white rubber shroud. The top has an opaque white cover with the Antec logo centrally placed. The tubing is Teflon coated PTFE with this ribbon which stops any kind of kinking along the tubes. Now to be honest this type of tubing has never been my favourite but that said it does do the job very very well. The radiator is made from aluminium or if you're in the states aluminium and measures 154 by 119 by 27 millimetres. The included 120mm fan runs between 900 and 1800 rpm. It's a PWM control fan so it will only run at the speed it needs to. This could be set in the BIOS, so it would depend on your motherboard how you'd actually do that. All the fixings come bagged up separately, labelled up as to what they are, and that also includes the fan. Now, I found installation to be relatively simple, and there's a well-written guide included that should help you if you get stuck. So, first of all, you attach the fan to the radiator, and then the correct fixing brackets for your system, either AMD or Intel, to the pump block. Then replace the stock back plate of your motherboard, again with the relevant one for your system, and apply a small pea-sized blob of thermal paste to the CPU. Place the pump block on top, and using the spring-mounted screw supplied, hand tighten it to the motherboard. Make sure you don't over tighten, as long as it's securely fastened, that's gonna do. Next, mount the radiator into the case, and plug the four pin fan connector into a fan header on the motherboard. Here, I've used the CPU fan header, then attach the pump power cable to both a SATA power connector and a three pin motherboard fan header. The three pin cable only has one wire connected and this will supply the pump speed back to the motherboard. It only uses the SATA connector for the power, so make sure you connect that. And that's it. So when you power the system up, you'll notice that the fan has a blue LED ring lighting it up and the pump header pulses the same blue color. Now the pump LED should change colour dependent on the CPU temperature. The manual tells you that the thresholds are that it turns green at 36 degrees and red at 41 degrees Celsius. However, these temperatures are actually measured in the liquid, so the actual CPU temperature would actually be a lot higher. In fact, the only way I could get it to turn red was to turn off the radiator fan under load. So what I initially felt to be quite low thresholds are actually about right and if you see red you know there's a problem. Now I tested this with a Ryzen 3 1200 CPU running at 3.8 GHz on an MSI B350M Pro VDH motherboard. And I was really impressed to see that at idle the CPU temperature hovered between 35 and 40 degrees and under full load for 20 minutes in the IDA 64 stress test it refused to go above 54. During the stress test, the fan got nowhere near 100% speed and remained really, really quiet. So, in summary, would I recommend the Antec Mercury 120? Well, the answer is yes. It does a great job for the money and it looks really good. Personally, I'd prefer to have seen a slightly better quality finish to the tubing and the pulse of the pump LED can be a little off-putting. Now, it would have been nice to be able to control those LEDs and stop them pulsing and set new thresholds for the green and red limits on the temperature. Although, according to Antec's website, I believe there's also an RGB version coming very soon. All that said, I'll leave you a link to the Mercury 120 in the description below. 
Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. There's a lot more to come on the channel, including more PC builds and reviews. So the best way to make sure you don't miss those is to hit that subscribe button below. It doesn't cost you anything at all. So thanks for watching and I will see you later. Oh,